All right. So there's a couple of small concepts that we need to review before we move on from the topic of moles. So one of those is the concept of percentage yield. Uh, the idea is that when you do mole calculations, for example, the one that we did last time, then what you're assuming is that the reaction goes to 100%, that everything that can be done is done. In practicality, that's not the case. In reality, what happens is that even if you put everything as it's required, there's some wastage. Uh, reaction sometimes doesn't go to completion, especially in the case of reversible reaction, it never goes to completion. So what we do is we do the calculations. So stoichiometry calculations. So stoichiometry gives us the yield for 100%. So the calculations tell you what will happen if everything happened correct. This is called theoretical yield. And this is always for 100%. But in reality, that doesn't happen. So when you do practical, then the yield that you get, that's called experimental yield, which is always, always less than 100%. So I'll give an example. Let's say we have this question that, uh, okay. So first step is to figure out what the theoretical yield would be. So we do the stoichiometry as we normally would. We'll do the calculation that, okay, hydrogen plus nitrogen makes ammonia. Okay. So like, okay, I have 72 dm cube of hydrogen. I'm producing one mole of ammonia. So one thing you have to do, the thing that you're looking for, the thing for which you're looking for the yield, ignore the amount that is produced for now. For calculation, just look at that, okay, how much input I have and how much ammonia I can produce. Okay, so just which is ki apne percentage yield calculate karna hai, ignore that amount. Look for the other one and then solve it. Okay, so I'm going to do it. So I have uh, three hydrogen. I'm going to use the ratio method, but of course you're free to do any other method. So I have three times 24 dm cube because one mole is 24 dm cube. It produces simply two moles because one mole is simply one mole. They're asking us for moles. So it produces two moles of ammonia. I have 72 dm cube. So that should produce X. So let me do it. Uh, cross multiply here, cross multiply here, three times 24 times X equals to two times 72. X comes out to be two times 72 over three times 24, which is actually just two. So I should be getting two moles. What did I actually get? One mole. So now I use the formula or I can use the ratio. So the formula is percentage yield is what you got, which was one mole, which is basically the practical or experimental over theoretical times 100%. So I got one, I should have gotten two times 100%. That means my yield is 50%. Now, if I wanted to do the ratio method, I'd be like, okay, if the reaction went 100% correct, then I will get two moles because that is what I got from calculation. The calculations always give you the 100%. But I got only one mole. So what percent is that? So this is the ratio method. So you cross multiply. 100% is equal to 2x. x equals to 50%. So no matter whether you do ratio method or you use the formula, the yield is still the same. So the method to do that, ignore the part for which you're looking for the yield so first ignore that and calculate the theoretical thing using moles okay, method yes sir hum logo ne 3 into 24 kyun likha hua hai jab ke do ke sath kuch nahi likha aur hydrogen wale ratio method mein humne 3 into 24 likha sir the reason for that is ke hydrogen ka hamare paas volume hai so one mole ki volume kya hoti hai 24 dm cube or is ke moles and to two moles to direct lithiana to get ammonia get one mole make it them older than one mole you that will it can give you but if you're not comfortable with sir i'm going to be so now listen to say i have an silly i got 24 nail it then you're working with simply moles so i'll go for moles my answer i got 
ओके सर हाँ तो यूनिट सेम रखना जरूरी है इफ यू आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद दिस यू कैन यूज अनदर मेथड लाइक इफ आई यूज्ड फॉर्मूलास देन आई बी लाइक ओके व्हाट इज मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन 72 ओवर 24 थ्री मोल्स एंड आई नो थ्री मोल्स प्रोड्यूसेस टू सो थ्री मोल्स विल प्रोड्यूस ऑब्वियसली टू सो अमोनिया शुड बी टू मोल्स एंड आई हैव जस्ट वन मोल सो आई कैन जस्ट डू फ्रॉम हियर सो इट्स एग्जैक्टली लाइक द मेथड दैट यू यूज फॉर फॉर्मूलास ओके सर ओके yeah so that's the idea that theoretical yield and practical yield they're basically just two ways of looking at what should be produced and what is produced sir ab upar ja sakte maine sirf formula wala dekhna hai ki aapne kaise this one yes okay sir got it okay that's great